Taking a look at the front of the packaging, we can see that things are very plain and very simple, which is a good thing because obviously it does cut down on costs, uh, which reflects in the price of the product. We can see that the name is printed on there, the Mini, and a sort of cartoony picture of what it could look like. And in the actual middle of it, it does tell us the main specifications. So it tells us that it's a portable computer, uses an Intel Atom N455 1.66 GHz processor, has a LCD screen, 13.3 inch WVGA. The resolution used is 1366 by 768, and it has two gig of DDR3 memory and a 320 gig hard drive. Swiveling the box around, we can see on this side exactly the same details are reiterated down here. And you can see this little sticker will tell you whether it's a black or a white edition. The one that we're looking at is white. Turning it around again, same sort of thing on every side. So very, very simple. But on the top you can see that there is a carry handle. So if we open this up, we can see exactly what comes included inside. So straight away we can see in this bag, we have a slimline power adapter. We can see that there is a sort of mini remote control which is going to be handy for the multimedia features. In this anti-static bag, there is the battery, and you can see the color that's gonna match the actual laptop itself. Locking mechanism on one side, and one on the other side. Very slim line, very nice. You can see that we have a disc here. Now this disc does just have driver printed on there, so all the drivers are gonna be on there. We have an owner's manual. Opening that up, you can see it lists an introduction, the main features, specifications, details on the warranty, and also the main details of who manufactures this. So quite a bit of info there. You can also see that we have the other part of the power plug. So this will be the DC adapter. And taking out the protective packaging, you can see that underneath is some more protective packaging and this sort of cloth bag. Now, taking the product itself out the cloth bag, we can see the actual notebook itself. Now, this notebook has got sort of a cellophane packaging all around it just to protect it. And opening it up, we can see that there's a protective bit for the screen as well. As you can see on this side of the laptop, we can see that we've got a Ethernet port over here. We've also got a mini HDMI here, USB 2.0 port, and a multi-purpose microphone and headphone port. And on this side of the laptop, we can see we have a card reader, which accepts three different types of cards, and also another USB 2.0 port. And on the front of the laptop are two indicator LEDs, one for the battery and one for the wireless. Taking a look on top of the screen, you will notice that it has got a built-in webcam and it's 0.3 megapixels, which is more than enough to be able to sort of talk to your friends in other countries via Skype or MSN. It's gonna be perfect for that need. Now, considering the size of this laptop, it's actually quite refreshing to find that it has a 13.3 inch screen. Now, the LCD screen is a WVGA widescreen and it does feature a maximum resolution of 1366 by 768. The power button for the laptop is situated in the top right hand corner and is flush with the actual laptop surface. When you press it and it's all turned on, it will light up green. And there are also some status uh, LEDs. You can see that there's one for when the microphone's in use, one for the caps lock, num lock, and as well as a hard drive activity light. And now taking a look at the layout of the keys, you can see that it's actually laid out quite nicely. The keys are sort of raised ever so slightly and does sort of give off that Mac, uh, MacBook Pro kind of feel. You can see that it has incorporated most of the buttons on there. So we've got all of our relevant buttons and keys as well as some extra functions. So we can see that we have an FN key over here and all of the top row of keys have extra functions as you can see with the blue logo. So we have volume, brightness, as well as uh, activating the webcam and changing monitor source. You can also see that there's page up, page down, and relevant ones that act as a number keypad as well. The mouse pad can only be resembled as what you see on an Apple as well. It has a clear square pad, and it has also got a scroller on it as well. If you're browsing web pages, it makes it a lot easier to scroll using this instead of using the keys above. 
You can also see that it has one single button which is pivoted. So right click and left click. Just to the right of the mouse pad in the bottom right hand corner you can see there is a whole host of stickers that we'd normally find on a laptop anyway. It tells us that it has Intel Atom inside. It's an Intel Atom 1.66G CPU or 1.66 GHz, has 2 GB of DDR3 memory, which is in this particular one Samsung memory, has a 320 GB hard drive, in this particular one it's a Toshiba 5400 RPM. It comes supplied with Ubuntu Linux, has Wi-Fi, and according to this has a 1.3 megapixel camera, but sadly it hasn't, it's only 0.3, so there is a slight error in that sticker. So now if we actually have a look at turning the laptop on, it's just a matter of pressing down the power button and straight away you'll be greeted with the Mini logo. If we press the delete button, it'll take us through the post and then take us straight into BIOS and this will give us some of the details on the system. So straight away the first tab is the main tab. It'll tell you all about the BIOS, then about the processor, Intel Atom 9455 at 1.66 GHz. Count is one because you can get dual core processors such as the uh, into Atom 510. Tells us that it has 2 gigabyte of memory and then we can change the system time and date. Scrolling along we have the boot settings so if we go into there we can enable quick boot, quiet boot, uh, PS2 mouse support and many other features. Coming back out of that and we can see we have boot device priority which at the moment is the Toshiba hard drive that this comes included with. If you've got an external drive of some kind or a flash drive anything like that you can change the boot priority in here. Going next to the security tab, we can set a supervisor password or a user password and also enable or disable boot sector virus protection. For some reason, it's disabled as standard. Scrolling along from there, we can see that we have chipset. Now, in chipset, this is where you can decide how the laptop's actually going to allocate memory, whether it's going to be in a fixed mode or DVMT mode. And then finally, you can save all your changes or load optimal or fail safe defaults. Once you've come out of the BIOS and you've turned it all on, you will be greeted with your main screen, which is the Ubuntu Linux distribution operating system. Now, we're not going to really delve into the operating system because that's really for another review. But just to sort of show you, this is exactly what it will look like when you first boot it up. There are a lot of features down the left hand side. It comes pre-installed with Firefox on there, uh, the webcam, which if we go into the webcam booth, it will then load up the webcam and you can see the type of quality that comes included on this 0.3 megapixel. So straight away if we tilt this down you can see this is our camcorder taking a filming of this and this is the webcam taking a filming of the camcorder. It's a little bit dark, it's not fantastically bright but it's not bad really for a 0.3 megapixel webcam. Obviously if you are going to be using this laptop for talking to family members in various other countries then you will find that obviously it's going to be perfect for that.